Blues band weigh-ins and no neighbours. Players on side as new United boss lays down the law. That's in the mail. Also in the mirror. Bruno loves the roof of 10. Fernandez backs new strict regime as players needed to be brought into line. Now, there's a lot of pieces <sighs> today about the strict regime. Yeah, He's but, a, a uh, disciplined you, manager. You, Go on now. How many times do we hear that about, yeah. oh, we're feeling much sharper, much fitter? You know, come on. I'm not sure I buy that. I think Gabby was right what he said early. So far, it's gone well pre-season. Let's see how they start against Brighton first game mm. in the first six games. Then you'll know. You know, mm. but there's no doubt last year was a disaster. Nightmare. Yeah. So they've got to improve. Yeah. And there's a new guy in charge. They'll try to impress him. Al, you've seen some of the rules that he's made. They're, most of them are standard rules that the have been there for 20 years. Now. They don't drink during the week. Or I used to. But now this generation, they'll never go out during the week with Twitter and Instagram and the way phones can zoom in now. They don't risk it being caught drinking during the week. So some of the rules he's put down with the players um, getting weighed regularly, that's normal. That's normal that was yeah. always normal. You know, you was, you was not drinking water the night before because you're getting weighed in the morning at football. Yeah. So it's, it's nothing different for these players. So What do they need to do this window, Gabby? What's the priority between now and first game of the season against Brighton? Manchester United, for me, need another second midfielder. Is De Jong the answer? Is that the one they need? De Jong's the answer, but why would Manchester United bring in De Jong and they could have a similar situation of Di Maria? Didn't want to be there, mm. didn't work, ended up leaving very quickly. And why would you want a player who doesn't really want to come to you? You know, there's talk yesterday that he would rather Chelsea, would rather live in London, would rather the project with mm. Thomas Tuchel. So Manchester United, surely they haven't fallen enough where they are sort of forcing someone to come and sign for them. You know, Big Al went to Manchester United, you know, Manchester United have, have been that team for years that if they wanted a player to go and get them and the player wants to join them, now it's like, mm, I'm not sure Ronaldo wants to leave, yeah. I'm not sure about the squad of players you've got, Europa League, it's not as an exciting project now as it used to be. I tell you what's interesting as well, you know, what we're reading today about Phillips, uh, I could mm. never have gone to United, but I can think of some great players. That, you know, Gordon McQueen, Joe Jordan, Arthur Graham. You know, they played for Leeds and Manchester United. Yeah. Um, Gordon Strachan. Mm. Do you know what I mean? So that there's plenty out there. What who is it have between them, it. though? Um, Al, why is it that Manchester United. Oh, I, think Leeds... I think it's just the. the Something's white happened rose, over the years. Nah, it? It's white rose, red rose. It's that Lancashire, it. Yorkshire, I think. You know, and two great clubs. There's no doubt about it. You know, Leeds. You go back to the 60s, 70s, pop, and United in the 60s were magnificent. So there's two great clubs, and the fans, you know, the fans hate each yeah. other, basically. But, you, but it's easy for Calvin Phillips to say that now because he knows Manchester United aren't an attractive club to go to. You know, he knows that Manchester City would want him, Liverpool would probably want him, you know, Chelsea as well. So maybe if Manchester United were as good as Manchester City now, and they were the ones on top. Maybe it would have been a different, a different story. A different yeah. situation. What about Liverpool start? Have you been monitoring, you know, their pre season? Yeah, people games? have been like, you Did know. Did United the, not beat them four? Yeah, yeah, but people have been laughing about Nunes missing um, open goals, missing sitters in training. But like I said, it's pre season. Who cares? Do you know what I mean? I'd rather him do that if I'm a Liverpool fan now in pre season than first game of the season. He's there, sharp, you know, got the rust out of his boots. So I think Liverpool will be fine. Talk Sport Breakfast with Alan Brazil. Thursday and Friday morning, 6 till 10 on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.